All right, so there's gonna be a bunch of series of tutorial videos on how to create a web page using Wix.com. Now, I know it's gonna sound like I'm plugging Wix and I'm getting paid, but I'm definitely not. Um, I use Wix because I love Wix. It's easy to use, it's extremely powerful, and they also allow you to create a free account. Um, now you can see that for Digital Arts and Animation 10, we're gonna to start to create a portfolio based on the work that you've done so far. So here's one of my former students, and uh, she's done just a really nice job of putting together a digital arts and animation portfolio. Now you'll see right over here, she's created a whole bunch of different pages at the top. And then you can see that she has a nice little introduction or home screen. And then, you know, she has her, one of her favorite pieces of work that she's done. Now we're going to be going through the process of creating pages and kind of customizing a template and then, you know, adding content. So there will be a series of many, many videos to follow. Now, this is the easiest to do, so don't get overwhelmed. And the videos, with the exception of the first one, will be generally pretty short. Okay, so let's go. Let's get started with Wix. If you haven't already done so, I want you to go to Wix.com, and you'll notice that I'm already logged in. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to create an account because that's pretty self-explanatory. Just know that when you do create an account and the email that you use, you must actually go into your email account and then you have to then verify or click on a link to verify your site before you can actually start editing. Now, once you create an account, it's gonna take you right over here to my sites. You'll notice right over here that I don't have any sites created right now. So the very first thing that I actually wanna do is I want to go to create a new site. Now, Right over here, it says, what kind of website do you want to create? And I'm just going to click on other for now. I'm not really too worried about it. All right, so here, right over here, choose how you want to create your website. We're going to always create websites with the editor because it gives us a template that we can customize and we have a lot of freedom and control to do what we want with it. This is kind of prepackaged and can, doesn't work so well. So let's go ahead and choose a template. Now, right over here, template that you love, we're going to actually go and search templates and I'm going to type in resume. Now I know we're not doing a resume, we're doing a digital arts and animation portfolio, but the resume one makes it really, really easy for us to strip it down to its bare bones and then start to customize it the way that we want to. Now after I type in resume right over here, the next thing that I want to do is I want to actually go to Nicola Ryder and we're going to go ahead and click on the edit button. I wait a little bit. It takes a little while to sort of set up. Okay, so lots of videos. I don't think you're going to need them though because I'm going to take you through the whole process on my own. So let's close that off. All right, so let's strip this down bare bones. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to take these buttons and get rid of this here. And I'm going to take the picture of her and get rid of it. Now we're going to change some of, these, some of this information over here, but we're going to keep this and we're going to kind of customize it the way that we want to. Scrolling down here, uh, this is what we refer to as the footer. So whatever is in this sort of area will always appear on all your other web pages. Now I don't recommend that you put your cell phone number on here, so let's just delete that. Unless you're professional, of course, and you're trying to get work. We will leave this contact link right over here. We'll leave the, leave the follow me where you can actually add Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, et cetera, et cetera. And let's actually just get rid of this part. So we're just going to only keep the contact and the follow me. And we'll worry about this towards the end of the unit. All right. So kind of going up over here, um, uh, you'll notice that I have a resume, projects and contacts. So we don't need some of these pages. So what we're going to actually have to do is we're going to actually have to create new pages and delete certain pages. So I'm going to go right over here to where it says page and I'm already on the home page. And what I want to do is I want to click on manage pages. All right, so we're going to keep the home page. We're going to keep the contact page. But what we will do is we'll go ahead here and I am just going to click on the little three buttons. We're going to just delete this all together. And let's confirm it. Same thing with projects. I'm going to click on this little three uh, dots button here. And we're going to click on the delete again. Now being consistent, you can see that everything is in all capital letters. And so let's just kind of be consistent and do the same sort of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and add page. Now you'll notice that add page is automatically by default new page. So I'm going to start typing in, in all caps locks, visual composition. We're done. Let's add another page. 
And this one's going to be graphic tools. Let's add another page. This one is going to be animation one. If you haven't already guessed, these are all the one credit courses that we've actually worked on and created. So the next one is going to be project. And we're going to go over here. This page is optional. If you want to put in additional works, you can. Those are for the aspiring graphic artists, artists, um, animators. And if you've done something on the side, it's always a good idea to put like additional works. Now, right over here, we're going to start to actually create a links page. So we can actually link out to other web pages that we kind of deem as really cool or interesting. And they are related to digital arts and um, uh, animation. Okay, next, I'm going to go about, and that will be kind of a short little biography about you. Now, the really cool, whoops, I accidentally created another one, but that's easy enough. We can just trash that pretty easily. So let's go into delete. Okay, so to confirm, we have our homepage, which is, of course, the most important page out of any website because it introduces your audience to your actual site. We got visual composition, graphics tools, animation one, project, additional works, this is optional, links, about, and contact. Now, for those of you who want to actually, um, you know, if you don't create your pages in the order exactly outlined here, it's easy enough for you to click and drag and then just drop like that. Now, obviously, I want to make sure that I got my about page right over here and have all my pages ordered in this particular uh, fashion. Now, always homepage will always be at the very front. And you'll also notice right here that we have a contact. And I like to have the contact page at the very end so people can actually get a hold of you and find you relatively easily. Now, you'll also notice that as I started creating these pages, you'll notice that it actually built the menu right over here, too. Okay, and uh, you'll see more. I don't like that more button. I want to actually see all the pages here. So we're going to actually make this a little bit bigger here. So let's go ahead. Oh, by the way, if you wanted to actually put everything nice and compact, what I can actually do is I can go animation 10. For those of you who plan to take animation 20 and 30, this is an extra step. It's optional. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this right over the home page. And then what I can do is I can actually just drag this and you'll see it's nested. So this is going to be actually a fly out menu. Again, this is for those individuals who want to Oh, I'll leave that like that. There we go. Who actually want to have like a nested uh, page right here. So when I click on this, it'll actually display these. Not too worried about that. Like I said, it's optional. So I'm just going to go control Z and put it back the way it was. And I don't need the animation page. So let's just go ahead and trash that. Okay, great. So we're going to start on the homepage because every good website has a good homepage. It will attract your uh, attract your audience. So let's close that off. Now we need to change this name right over here. So you're going to actually have to put your name and I'm just going to do a slow double click and you can see right over here, everything's all selected just like you do in Google Docs or Microsoft Word. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my name. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go portfolio or digital arts and animation. So let's go ahead and actually format this a little bit, but I need to, of course, clean up any uh, grammatical or writing convention errors. And this is pretty big. I'm gonna definitely put this down here. So I'm gonna reduce the size of this font here. And we're gonna put this maybe to like about 18. I'll just use a slider or I can just type in the value. Yeah, 22 actually works pretty good. Now. If you notice here, what I can also do is I can just grab this and then I can expand this out like that. All right. The reason why you want to put your name in here is because under um, links or searchable pages, uh, this will actually come up and you'll be easier to find, especially if you're an aspiring uh, budding artist. Uh, same thing over here. This is the title of your website. So these two are very important for search engines to hook up and get other people in touch with you. Now, as far as the menu, I'm going to click and drag this and put this kind of in the middle. And I love this uh, site because it has smart guides. It just tells me, hey, that's the center. So let's go ahead and actually expand this. And as I expand this, you can see it has all the links. Let's move that over. And I'm almost done. I just need the contact page. And there it is. 
in my personal opinion, it's always better not to have that um, more button and expand this outward so everybody can see all your links. It just makes things a lot, lot easier. And again, I probably want to center this right over here. Now, this is the header and the header is important. And the reason why the header is so important is because it contains all your links. And the nice thing about a header is when you have this on, it will be on all your other pages. So, for example, if I go to visual composition, headers there. If I go to additional works, that's also there too. So anything in this part of the screen is only exclusive to that particular page and everything in your header will appear on all pages. Same holds true for the footer too. So let's go back over here to the home page. All right, so I'm gonna just take the hello part and I'm just gonna just do a double click on here. And actually let's move it first. Edit text. And I'm gonna type in home. And let's go ahead and center that. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to actually have a little introduction about what your web, web page is about. This is a little bit too large. So what I can do is I can type in another value and I'll probably put in a value as before 22. And there it is. Let's go ahead and expand this outwards too, because I don't want everything sort of cramped. Um, and I guess too. If, if I have a very narrow, narrow text back, uh, box, it's going to result in a lot of uh, scrolling here. Okay, so I'm going to say welcome to my digital arts and animation. I got little sticky fingers here. Obviously, I'm uh, not anchoring my right arm or hand on home row. Portfolio site. And like anything else, what I definitely need to do is pay attention to writing conventions, capital letters, all those kinds of things. So I will continue to type here. You will find my works completed at Jasper Place High School. In animation, or sorry, digital arts. Actually, I won't even say that because that's just repeating itself. All right. Some of the programs I have used include Photoshop, which is capitalized, Illustrator, Animate, and 3ds max for those of you who actually had a chance to tinker with that program and i'm going to actually just add adobe right over here and i'm going to put in here and autodesk because that is not a adobe product i'll continue to write please feel free to contact me with any suggestions questions just to say hi. I would probably customize this part to make it your own, but this is just an idea that can definitely help you. Now, it's important that you have this text on your homepage simply because as soon as somebody gets to your web page, they need to know right off the bat that, hey, this is awesome. Um, I, this is what I'm looking for, and I'm going to stay here a little bit longer. So once I do that, I can say great and oh, that part and I can just put my introduction now I will come back afterwards and put an example of my favorite work but that's gonna be afterwards when we're starting to deal with video or say we're dealing with images or maybe even an animation in Adobe animates um, and so we obviously want to put our best foot forward and putting a, a cool image plus an introduction will help your audience understand what's going on now every time that you work in Wix you always have to make sure that you save and right over here, uh, you can see what your website is going to actually be right off the bat. So what I can do here is I can go ahead and save and continue. Now, this is the important part, because what you can do is create tons and tons of web page uh, pages, tons of content you can put in those web pages, but you always have to hit publish. Anytime you complete a page, always hit the publish button, because without hitting the publish button, your site will not be active. 
I'm going to go ahead and hit the publish button right over here. And so now all, all of a sudden my site is live. Congratulations. Your site is published and is live online. Now here's something else I want to do here is I want to go ahead and I want to highlight this link right over here and do a quick right click and copy. Now you will actually have to send me your website URL, otherwise I can't mark it. And then that's a bit of an issue. So for anything that you do, always, always, always make sure that you do a publish and you just need to copy the link once, paste it and send it to me so I have it for the future. Um, and so with that, that's, this is the very, very first video in a series of videos. And uh, go back, play it, pause it, do what you need to do. And then we're going to start to actually work on these various uh, parts right over here. All right, so that's it for now. And the next video is we're going to actually be working with uh, images and converting what we have from Photoshop and Illustrator into a web format ready. So bye for now.